first by 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 interviewing uh, the panel of experts at EUCACH. Their website is eucach.org. Uh, over the, uh, starting about three months ago, is that there's a new advanced technology of scalar, a new advanced scalar technology employing super com quantum computers, uh, a quantum cloud, a super grid of over 1,000 grids that is connected to HARP and that is carrying out global mind control as, as follows. Uh, for example, we all see chemtrails over many cities throughout the world. I know that the last time that I was in Amsterdam, I saw chemtrails over Amsterdam. Here over Vancouver, chemtrails. Uh, over many, many cities, chemtrails. Well, in those chemtrails, they, they actually contain nanobots, these mini uh, uh, bots which come down, you breathe them in, they can go into your bloodstream, they jump the blood-brain barrier and get into your brain, and they become uh, frequency transceivers, uh, emitting RF frequencies, which are then entrained into this super grid of the super quantum computers, the quantum cloud, and the super grid leading up the harp. So that's how they begin to entrain humans into the quantum scalar mind control and into the transhumanist or robotization agenda. Educational DVDs and other materials at this event. Climate engineering is nothing short of weather warfare. Due to the highly toxic materials, the climate engineers are spraying into our skies and skies all over the globe. Climate engineering must also be considered biological warfare. We're talking about materials like aluminum, barium, strontium. Who gave the government and others, other governments, the right to play God with Earth's weather and climate systems? Who gave them the right? Our apathy gives them the right when we sit on the bench and do nothing while this is going on above our heads. Same is true with the vaccination cataclysm that's occurring because no one wants to stand out from the herd and say, no, this is wrong, it's enough. We have enough data now to prove what's happening is causing immense harm. It's time for us all to stand up and make our voices heard. They match the climate engineering patents exactly. They're falling on us. More dry lightning. When you aerosolize the atmosphere with these conductive metal particulates, you get more dry lightning. The atmosphere is more electrically conductive. It's drier because these particulates are desiccants, they absorb moisture. And these metallic particulates are an incendiary dust. It coats the forest foliage and makes it more flammable. All these are facts, all contributing to the fires that are burning down around the globe. We're in very great danger from the pollution that's coming down over us. And we've been led astray by the military industrial complex. Is the government industrial spraying complex. dangerous chemicals over us from Is planes? the government experimenting with our weather? That's the question at the heart of a phenomenon called chem trails. Now we're in the widespread attention. Millions of tons of toxic poisons released by planes as part of the government fought to affect the military conducted. The government is up there in airplanes on spraying all kinds of chemicals to change and manipulate the weather. Leaving what you see there, and they call that a chem trail. Geoengineering. They say it's poison and tests show high levels of these chemicals in our rain and soil. Using planes to spray chemicals into the atmosphere to manipulate the soil. And that's why health department records show a sharp increase in barium and aluminum in California's water supply. We shall propose further cooperative efforts between all the nations in weather prediction and eventually in weather control. The Army's need to know more and more about weather that surrounds this planet is a vital part of the expanded research program of atomic weapons. We all talk about the weather. The Army is doing something about the weather. Wherever you see the 
jet chemtrails go over, you're going to get aluminum, barium, strontium coming down on you. Why would we not believe it's happening when what we see in the sky matches exactly the express goal of numerous geoengineering patents, about 160 or more? Why would we not believe this is happening when every element showing up in the rain tests are the primary elements named in those geoengineering patents? Why would we not believe this is happening when we have escalating levels in very sh short time frames, as, much, as short as five years, we see rain levels of aluminum, for example, escalating as much as 50,000%. California air quality studies do not show these metals migrating from China. And it's of recent origin, so you know this bombardment of heavy metals that's raining down on us is, is coming from somewhere. Why would we not believe geoengineering is occurring when the weather patterns are so altered here in exactly the manner stated by geoengineers and reports on the consequences for geoengineering, which are diminished rainfall, which are increased ozone destruction. We have a massive ozone hole in the northern hemisphere now.